Okay, um, in this video what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over the basics of quadratics here and give you just all the vocabulary and show you a paper, uh, one or two problem, I can't even remember, um, what, uh, I think it's, yeah, paper one problem um, on quadratics, okay? Uh, this is for my student Shireen who personally requested this, and Shireen, here you go. Don't say it, I never did anything for you. Okay, so quadratics um, start in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Okay, now um, the important part to know about this is a, b, and c are numbers, and then you have your x's right here. Okay, um, now the way this is normally written is you'll, you know, you might um, see like y equals x squared, or if they write it in function form, they might say f of x equals x squared, whatever. It's the same thing. Okay, um, now the important thing to note here, I'm not going to go through everything and prove everything. Um, you know, it's it just will take too long. But, you know, C right here is, you know, the y-intercept. Okay, so this is where it crosses the y-axis. You know, A, A is important because if A is greater than 0, um, then, you know, this is going to be a parabola. A parabola looks like this. It looks like a U kind of, uh, but it branches out a little more. Now, if A is less than 0, it's going to look like this. Okay, it's going to go down. Um, okay, so, you know, let's just break out a calculator real quick. Or, or um, yeah, sure, calculator right here. Okay, so, you know, let's turn it on. We got um, our Y equals, okay, let's just say that we have Y equals X squared. Okay, so, you know, there's Y equals X squared. So, you know, that, that, gra that graph pretty much looks like this. You know, 2, 4, uh, 3, 9. Now, the important thing to know is that these graphs are symmetrical. Okay? So that means, like, if I go one to the left and one to the right from the, the lowest point, um, they're going to be the same distance. Okay? So here we go. It looks like this. Now, this lowest point um, is called the vertex right here. So the vertex in this case is 0, 0. Um, and it's also called, uh, you know, the minimum. Now, I just want to show you what happens when you, um, you may have seen it before, is when you put, so let's insert here, second insert, let's insert a negative sign, see what happens. So negative x squared. So if you see negative x squared, what it does is it, it flips it over. Okay, so, you know, um, that graph would look, you know, just like this. It's, it, would, it basically flips it over. Um, the x-axis. Okay, so this is going to be, you know, it would look like this, and then 2, negative 4, and 3, negative 9, like this. 2, negative 4, 3, negative 9, uh, and then we'll draw, you know, what does it look like? Whee! Okay, give me a break. My, per, my drawing skills are horrible. We all know that if you've watched any of these videos. Okay, <clears throat> now, the important thing to know is, like I said, that, that these things are symmetrical, okay? So, you know, there's an, this is what's called the axis of symmetry. Now, how do you find the axis of symmetry? You just got to memorize this. It's equation, um, it's a vertical line, so it's x equals, and x is going to equal negative b over 2 times a. Now, this is really important, okay? So, like, let's say you had, you know, y equals, I don't know, x, 2x squared plus, oh, I don't know, um, 6x minus 5. So, we can, we can say, you know, we have, we can look at this and see things right away. Well, first of all, the y-intercept here is going to be negative 5. So, this graph's crossing right here. Okay, if we want to find the axis of symmetry, we would just do negative b. So we do negative 6 over, t, you know, 2 times a is 2 times 2. Okay, not a great example. I just made it up on the top of my head. It would be negative 6 over 4, which is um, negative 1.5. So the axis of symmetry would be, you know, in between here. It would go down in negative 1.5. Um, okay, now, you know, how do we know where it crosses the x-axis? Well, that's where factoring comes in, okay? So... Um, you know, let's do another example. I'll just make one up. Y equals, um, let's see, x squared plus 3x minus 15. Okay, so we know it crosses at negative 15. We know it looks like this because, 
it's, you know, x squared. Now, the way to factor it is, you know, what times what equals ac, and what plus what equals b. Now, these, you should get two numbers that do this, okay? So, in this case, we want, okay, well, how are we going to make 3? <coughs> well, oh, not 3x. Let's make it 2x. Ha, ha, ha. This is what happens when you make stuff up on the spot. Okay, so it's going to be 5 and negative 3, and it's going to be 5 and negative 3. So what this is, is x plus 5 and x minus 3. Uh, now, if it's crossing here at the x-axis, it's going to be equal to 0. Now, what numbers make this equal to 0? Well, x would be negative 5 and x would be 3. Okay, so this would cross at negative 5 right here, and it would cross it. Or, excuse me, that's not negative 5. This is uh, negative 5, and then this is 3 right here. And that I need to get rid of. So we'll just erase that. We gone. Okay. Um, so unfortunately, it erased part of the graph too. Okay. Whatever. So anyway, th these are the things you need to know. You need to know that uh, it's symmetrical. Um, these graphs have maximum and minimum points. Um, you know, you factor it to look for the x's. Now you can also use a, a function on the calculator if you go to apps. Oh, oh my gosh. Hold on. One second. I'm going to bring it up. Okay, I'm back here, and now I've just put it back on the calculator. So poly uh, simultaneous, enter. Um, you just go to poly root finder. This will find the roots for us. Now, if it's set up, you're, you're good to go. And, um, you know, then you can enter in your calculator. Well, what did we have here? We had x squared plus 2x minus 15. So, you know, a is 1, um, b is 2 and c is negative 15. So we solve it, and we get, you know, negative 5 and 3, which I had here. So if you don't, if you're not comfortable factoring, that's fine. Don't even worry about it. Um, you can do it on a calculator. And this is totally legal. They let you use it. Okay, so let's move on to a problem, and let me just show you how all this works. Okay, so if you look at this problem, um, it says the figure below shows part of the graph of a quadratic function y equals ax squared plus 4x plus c. Okay, write down the value of c. Well, let, let's just take a look at this here. What do we got? What do we got going here? Okay. Well, we've got a, you know, a problem that goes like this. It, it has a maximum right up here. Okay, that's its vertex. Okay. Well, that means that a has to be negative. Okay, so a is, you know, negative. Okay. So, and then, you know, what do we got? It crosses the y-axis here. Now, it crosses the x-axis here and here. Okay, so they're giving us a lot of information here. So I always kind of like to look and draw a strategy from that. So, you know, write down the value of c. Well, as we learned last time, c is the y-intercept, okay? Um, well, I was just talking about that a second ago. So, you know, what's the y-intercept? Well, c is going to be 6, okay? So c equals 6. <laughs> Okay, so we've got part of our equation here, plus 4x, you know, plus 6. Okay, now find the value of a. Okay, now a we know is going to be negative, but we've got it. Okay, we this is where you got to know, uh, and this isn't in the formula booklet, where x the uh, equals uh, negative b over 2a. Okay, so if we do that, we can find... Uh, what a is okay because we know what b is and we know what the axis of symmetry is well the axis of symmetry is here it's at one okay so that's the trick to this you got to know that the axis of symmetry is there and i should have written it down a second ago so we got negative b so we're going to have negative four over two times a we don't know what a is excuse me i've got a cold and then um it's going to equal one Okay, so, you know, let's solve this. Uh, we get, you know, two, we just multiply that. So 2a times 1 is 2a. So we get negative 4 equals 2a, you know, divide by 2. a equals negative 2. Okay, so that, that makes sense, right? Because that's a. So, um, you know, what our, you know, what we have is negative 2x squared uh, plus 4x plus 6. Okay, now the last thing they want is they want this quad they want this in factorized form. Okay, that's that's fine. We can do that. 
Um, now, the first thing you do when you factor something is you look at it and you go, okay, well, can I take anything out of it? Okay, now I would, I want to take the negative 2 out here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to factor out this negative 2 because we can divide everything by negative 2. So I'm going to get x squared. Uh, 4x divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 2x and then, um, you know, minus 3. Okay, so we got to see if, if we can factor this. Now, we already know that it crosses at 3 and it crosses at negative 1. So if you know that, I mean, you should already know that this factors to, um, you know, it's going to be x plus 1 and x minus 3. Um, but let's do it anyway. Okay, so what times what equals negative 3 and what plus what equals um, negative 2? Well, it's going to be negative 3 and 1. Okay, so negative 3 and 1. So what we get when we factor this is we get negative 2, don't forget about that, and then we get x minus 3 times x plus 1. And as you'll see, that's the same thing I wrote right there. Okay, by just by looking at the graph. So that's our answer. That's in factorized form. Now, if you enter that into the calculator, uh, it would give you the answers of, you know, it would say x equals 3 and 1. Well, okay, fine. <coughs> if x equals 3 and 1, you just those are your answers, so you just have to write the opposite down when you put it like this. So you'd put x minus 3 and x plus 1. Okay, and then don't forget the negative 2. Okay, so that's it's in factorized form there. Okay, um, so that that tells you a um, little bit about quadratics. Okay, the you know there's two types of problems here. One you know where they um, just like these, where you'd have to find out parts about the quadratic, like C and A and all that stuff. Um, and if you know the axis of symmetry, if you know about the vertex, you know the um, uh, the y-intercept, you know, uh, about, you know, the x-intercepts that, you know, are, are the solutions. They often call them solutions. Um, you're good to go on these, I think. And if you can factor, even better. But if not, use your calculator. Now, the other type of problems that they do on these are, uh, like, these rectangle problems where you have, you know, you have to find the area, and it's a quadratic, you have to factor it, blah, 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 blah. I did another problem like that, and I'll link to it right now. Okay, but other than that, um, Shireen, hope this helped you out. Uh, if not, let me know, and I will put something else up, or I can help you uh, in class. Alrighty? All right, hope you all have a good day. Take it easy.